it's an iconic race, you know, and with a beautiful quayside finishing off over the Millennium Bridge. I think it makes it so special because it's you're going along Newcastle quayside, which is a gorgeous place to be, and you go past a few of the bridges, and it's just a beautiful run, I think. The route is a really lovely one along the banks of the Tyne, um, right out as far as the arena, and then back and over the Gateshead Millennium Bridge to finish in Baltic Square. It's a fantastic route. It's really flat, so it's really good for runners, um, but it's also really beautiful scenery. And for people that don't know the quayside or are visitors here for the first time, it's a brilliant way to showcase Newcastle and Gateshead to the rest of the world. Iconic, see all the sights, see all the bridges, see the city, see everything. Well, it's organised by Gateshead Harriers, who are a very long-standing running club uh, in this area, who in the past have been, uh, at times, the best running club in the country, winning multiple national championships. I started this event, well, four years ago, it was the third run in the event. We did have one year off, and the whole idea behind the event was, let's get a race that is designed for runners to run fast. Obviously we need to bear in mind safety, but you know, runners want to run PBs. Doesn't matter if it's the real elite guys who are international athletes trying to break the course record and run as close to 40 minutes as possible, or the guys who, you know, they've got a PB of 65 minutes, they want to get under 60. We want to get a course that is going to be just flat, fast, designed with the atmosphere in mind to get everybody around there really quickly, all really buzzing about it, all going, you know, we want to do this race every year because this is the one where we get with PV. So that's what the course was designed for and that's the whole idea. You've got your, your, your fast runners at the front, but you've also got the, the ones just doing it for the, for the fun aspect. Uh, good range of... Every size. ability. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous because I think it's, a, it's supposed to be quite a fast run um, and we're not the quickest. But as long as we get round in one piece, yeah. that's the main thing. And can breathe at the end yeah. of it. It's the main thing. There's the elite runners that take part, but they're great pace setters for the club runners. And then you've got the people who be a normal park runners. It's, the, the race is actually for everybody. It's all different abilities. Um, as you can see, the times are just, there's a big difference in the times, but it, it is just for everyone to come and join in. The race will be bigger next year, but even bigger and better. So we hope to just increase on the numbers and just it's just for everybody really, just to come along. And with the Great North Run being just two weeks away, it's a good warm up as well for that. So people like to do it then. Gets them in the spirit for the Great North Run. I think it's a quick course and uh, a lot of PB, so I think, that's, uh, I think that's when runners are happy. You've got some of the area's best runners right at the front of it. But that's the beauty of, uh, of running. You can be at any level and compete in the same event as, as some of the very best. We want this to be like a fixture on the calendar that people want to come here because this is the one that, that is the big target to run fast. It's a race that we always follow and love quite a lot because we're a lot of the clubs in the northeast, we all like to support each other's races and everything else. So as a Newcastle front runner, the guys at Gateshead Harriers come over for our race, uh, the LGBT 5K, and we do all the other clubs' races. And so it's just a nice thing to come out and support each each of the clubs. 500 people are sell out. Smashed it. <laughs> I only started running a couple of years ago uh, when I got into my early 40s, and I never thought I could be a runner. I never thought I could enjoy this kind of thing, but I do. I love it, I've got the book, and if I can do it, anybody can. So come on, come and join in and take part, you'll really enjoy it. Uh, 37 PP for me, um, I was chasing my arch nemesis and uh, I snuck past him, so, uh, so a success. I'd love to thank all of the marshals, all of the officials, all the guys who've came behind the scenes to really make this happen. We've had some great sponsors who, you know, they really wanted to get involved to hand out trophies, bring down water. You know, it's been a real sort of team effort. You wouldn't believe how many people contribute behind the scenes. We're talking around about 60 people who have chipped in to do something and every little helps for an event like this. And even people who weren't racing and had family and friends have been asking, oh, can I come down and do something on the night? Can I help being Marshall? You know, it's, it's created a great atmosphere and we do really appreciate everybody giving that time for the club.